Hello, welcome back to Revender in Sports and um, a very special day for an old, old friend of mine, Mark. Uh, he's picking up his Ritchie Road Logic frame set. So, Mark, first things first, how long have we <laughs> known each other? <laughs> um, since about 2006, yeah. uh, I think you sold a, sold me a Cervelo Soloist at Nitro. Yeah, in wow. In like 2006, so yeah. way back when. And Nitro no longer exists. I know, Nitro no longer exists. And yeah. so. Wow, 2006. And we've been virtual friends for a long, long time as well. Uh, Bikeforums.net. Bike, bike forums, yes. Uh, which I still love, the bike forums. Uh, format because it's searchable there's just topics and threads and all that stuff but you know Facebook all the other social media right. took over unfortunately but but what you're here for is one of these in that box right there so it's 2024 January 2024 and you are getting a rim brake bike and a steel bike can you talk to um, to some of the folks out there as to why with all the disc brakes that are available now with all of the carbon super uber perfect frame material lightweight uh, comfortable all that stuff why you've chosen to get actually let me say this why you've chosen to get a second Ritchie Road Logic rim brake um, the I like the simplicity, the simplicity. Live in Southern California where I don't ride in the rain, so disc brakes are kind of like, I've never had issues braking. Yes. I have yeah. enough brake power to push me over the hand, throw me over the handlebars if I need to on a rim brake bike. Yeah, um, yeah. And how and tall are you, by the way? Cause I'm six foot three. Six foot three, because we're going to talk about sizing in a minute. You're six foot three, you're probably close to 200 pounds? I'm about 215 right now. 215. So, so, so little, breaking one. power is fine for you yeah. at 215 pounds. Yeah. Always with a rim brake. Always has been. I've, I've been riding rim brake bikes, you know, since I started riding bikes back in 1975. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and brakes were a lot worse then, and, <laughs> and still it's, it, you know, even rim braking is working well. And yeah. I've had one carbon brake or one carbon frame yeah which was a cervello p3 yeah and it's kind of like you know i hate babying it i like i'm not fast anymore steel bike feels nice yeah and so much of the riding comfort is 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 uh tires and other stuff so tire and tire pressure yeah 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 and, yeah. and, the, and the and the steel frame is just doing real well yeah the, re the reason i'm getting the second richie yeah is second I richie yeah i, I want to get the a little more brake clearance as more you know a little more tire clearance because i'm finding i need a little bit more in my old age but not enough to have to go to the super wide yeah um super wide so you have do you have this gray frame yes i have the gray frame and what tires have you been able to put on that one um i can put a because tire and rim is the is the big issue? Yeah, I run. Um, I can run twenty five in the front, but it's actually a Conti GP four season, so it okay. it runs sizes about twenty eight in the front. Okay. Um, twenty seven, twenty eight in the front, and uh, and a twenty eight C four seasons in the back. But I have to be careful with the wheel because if I run like a twenty eight spoke wheel, it'll flex it'll into flex, the stay. Yeah. So under your yeah. Um, I wanted to be able to get. 28 C's reliably onto the frame, possibly, you know, possibly the a 30 millimeter tire, which I think I can do with the, it sounds like you can do with this new one. So. Yeah, this one right now has 28 tires on a uh, 25 rim, and there's good clearance there. Really hard to shoot, but um, I still need to do, this is my, my personal bike, and I still need to do a video on that. The camera's just trying to focus on so many different things. But anyway, that's 28, so you can see there what the clearance right. is. Yeah. I was able to run these 30 tires yeah. on this 25 rim, so 30 tire, 25 rim, when I did uh, Paris Press Paris yeah. on that Ritchie. Plenty of space. I could not put a 32. I'm thinking with this one, I should be able to fit a 32 in there. 
and uh, that's the f clearance in the fork area. So yeah, 28 inside of this. Uh, so a couple of things I want to cover with you. Just before we went live on video, you were talking about the Cane Creek seat post. Um, share more about that. Is a EE e. Silk the or whatever e. it's called? Silk Plus seat post. Um, I've had back issues for the last number of years, degenerative. Um, one option would have been to go to disc brakes and bigger tires and such, but I really didn't like the feel of. I have, I have a, I actually have a third Richie. I have a breakaway cross. Oh, nice. That so I, that's what I run 32s on, or 35s even. Um, but, but I like the, I like the liveliness of the of the road logic frame. I wanted to keep the simplicity of the rim brakes. Yeah. Um, but I needed a little bit more shock absorption mm -hmm. and. And the Cane Creek seat post seems to seems to be doing a good job. It, it just is enough to snub some of the bad road shock out of it. What does it uh, state as compliance? How much? Like half a mil? I mean, a half a centimeter it's of about, travel? It's about. It can go up to twenty-five millimeters, so almost 25. a full inch. But it, but it's it's basically rubber snubbers, okay. little rubber. I. Uh, um, are they re are they yeah, different slug, inserts? Put, they're different inserts. You, okay. you can change them based upon rider weight and such. Okay. Um, I've actually run so you it, can cheat it by putting. You can in. make it stiffer. You can make it wider. Yeah. yeah. Um, there, there's another one on the market. The I uh, can't remember the name now. What was the Thudbuster? That was the Cane Creek one, right? Not the, not the Cane Creek, but there was another company, Soft Stop. Okay. Uh, or Shock Stop. Okay. Um, that's slightly different, but that was a, that's a heavier seat post, and and it, it's kind of a little more complicated. The Cane Creek looked nice, nice and simple, and fairly. So I'm curious on would there be fitting issues? Like how much seat post do you need to have so that you can? I mean, how big? If you can demonstrate with your fingers, how big is the the shock absorption portion? Oh, I guess we could look at that. That's what. Okay. All right. So you still have, act, in your situation, you still can put a tail light and a tool bag and yeah. all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just yeah. curious so about enough, that. There's enough room to do that. Uh, let's talk fitting issues. So we had talked about that the 59, oops, sorry, that the 59 is actually just a tad small for you, uh, only because of your degenerative neck issues. Yeah. I've kind of worked that out. I've okay. kind, of, kind of figuring out, figuring out fit issues. I've had to. Um, I have a long torso too, so so my fit's kind of a little more. I need a, I need a longer top tube. Yes. And such. So actually, the 59 is fine. Lengthwise, it's better. It's okay. And I'm finding out I can, I can do okay. There was a bit of a time I thought I might have issues, but I can I've kind of worked out the fit issues. And it's more just physical therapy, keeping the neck moving and such, getting yeah. trying to work neck mo mobility. I have limited range of motion in the neck, but I'm kind of. Has it been getting better when you say that you 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 learn that you have to work on it? Does it I, feel better? It feels better. It's just it's just it takes continuing work. It's yeah. just yeah, just an ongoing project of yeah. trying to keep going, um, and so. So I like my, my fit on mine. I I have I keep the stem as a, a plus seven. Yeah. And I also use the special. Oh, that's not dramatic then. And I use also the specialized hover bars, which have another fifteen millimeters of rise. Right, right. And so, that seems to give me enough. Yeah. So that bar would come here and then up. Yeah, but about fifteen, about three quarters of an inch. Okay. So, All right. So. so that gives you a little bit more height. And, and that that works that works out just fine. Yeah. And and. And basically, the the picture I had here, you can kind of see how my fit how my fit is now. Yeah, and there's nothing that seems out of the ordinary there, so that's good. Yeah. So, but would a 61 had been a better fit for someone like you? It really depends. Ah. It it depends. I mean, a 61 might have been. I'd be able to get shuck some of the spacers out of there. Um, top two blank would be the 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 driving factor yeah i mean i've always i've always when i when i raced back in the 70s i rode like a 61 
Schwinn Paramount that also had a 60 centimeter top tube <laughs> yeah. with a 130 stem. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I, I was you more were stretched so out, stretched out, yeah. But I was also you know, 40 years younger, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you would step to the, to, yeah, either side, one thing that you might consider in the future is this is a, this is a large outback. This is, I just built this up last week. And these head tubes are really tall. Um, so you get a lot more height with almost the same other geometry for the, for the, from the road logic. But this just ends up much, much taller. And I mean, I've got it built up pretty tall because, you know, of course, I, at some point, if someone wants to buy the bike, I didn't want to cut the, sh the fork all the way down. But this gives you a lot of head tube height if you were so inclined. Of course, it's disc and all that other jazz. Yeah. But, you know, obviously, you know, being disc, now you just put on a set of regular wheels on it, right? You know, regular wheels and tires on it. Uh, but that would, might be a way to get you some more head tube height um, so that you know you don't have to yeah i'm i'm doing i'm doing okay with what i've got yeah i also have my my i have a breakaway cross that i mentioned and that has a has a bit more stack on it yeah um yeah. i debated getting one of one of these but i like the simplicity of the rim brakes on it. i it's, do too it's, it's cantilever brakes and, yeah. and i can basically take it apart and put it in the suitcase and and it's traveled with me a few times and it's just been um, it's just not as fun to ride as the road logic. So I wanted to get another road logic yeah, yeah. while I can, while, while, you I can, can. while I can enjoy it. Uh, and then lastly, I think anyway, uh, when you looked at this color just a few minutes ago, uh, tell me what, tell me, cause I had to cut you off cause I wanted to get it live on, on video. Yeah. Tell me what, what you started to say. I love the color. Yeah. I love the color. Yeah. I mean, I, I liked the gray. I wasn't as enthralled about the blue. When I wasn't either. Out, I didn't it was, like it. It was just kind of like, yeah. yeah but yeah. then I saw this, I'm going, okay. I'll pull the trigger I'll on this I'll pull the trigger on this one. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And it just, it's a, it's a strange combination, right? The, they call it Sally, Sally's Macaroons or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I at first was like, nah, okay, but I want another one because I want more tire clearance. And it has grown on me pretty, pretty well. So, okay. So your frame is inside this box here i haven't opened it yet i uh, as i mentioned to you over text i really uh try to protect uh customers stuff and you can see from from <laughs> from how cluttered my shop is it's just it's really hard to keep everything safe so i don't even open it until the customer is here so let's get that done and then uh, we'll shoot some quick pictures outside my door and okay. then you're off on your own okay Thank you for your time. I appreciate, um, and I appreciate how flexible you've been. Uh, we've been like, what, three days now trying to yeah. figure out when to connect. So, okay. all right, everyone else, please like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.